on our way to our first camping trip. We are going to Chatfield State Park. We've got the trailer back there, Poppy and the dog. We're ready. You ready, Jack? Yes. We are Emma and Jack Lindsay. Together with our daughter, we travel around enjoying great food and drinks along the way. Our goal is to take our experiences to help you plan your next trip. Whether it's a brewery, a winery, a unique food experience, or a helicopter ride through glaciers, we hope you love your life and get out and live a little. Heading into Chatfield State Park, can't wait, here's to our first camping trip. Chatfield has amazing views of the mountains and the lake. We got a pull through for our first one, yay, we didn't even know that. And look at the view we got. That's gonna be nice. Woohoo! Chatfield is a state park in Colorado, about 30 minutes south of Denver. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what do you think, little miss? Your first camping experience. You wanna go inside? <gasps> Got everything set up. Nezzy's hanging. You having fun, Pop? Yeah. I'm in charge of setting up like the rug and the chairs and watching Poppy and the dog while Jack sets up the rest of the camper. <laughs> Chatfield has about 26 miles of hiking and biking trails. 12 of those are paved and they have about 24 miles of horseback riding as well. And another fun thing that you can see and do is they also have hot air ballooning, which on this trip there wasn't any, but we've seen them in the past. It's a very popular spot to take a ride. Woo! Whoa, first camping trip. <laughs> Not too bad. We decided to start with some bubbles and hot dogs, simple and easy for our first trip. The sunset was absolutely gorgeous this night too. Our campsite was a full hookup and they have a total of 197 sites at Chatfield. Did Dada make you some good pancakes, Poppy? There's a lot of wildlife in the state park, so just keep your eyes open and be smart with your garbage, as well as being respectful to the animals that live there. You can also boat in this park. At the marina, you can rent a boat if you don't have your own. There's also a restaurant here called Seagulls. They're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Everything from water skiing, sailing, paddling, and fishing. And if fishing is your thing, they have a lot of options. They've got trout, bass, walleye, catfish, yellow perch, carpe, bluegill, sunfish, and carp. Hopefully I said all of those right. And apparently the trout fishing is one of the best in the Denver area. This is also only a small bit of the lake. It goes out really far. On our walk, you come up on Sklocum Cabin. Let's check it out. This cabin was originally a trapper's home from 1852. The cabin is the oldest standing structure in the Denver area, possibly in the state. It is a 10 by 12 foot building from hand-hewed square timbers, and the stone chimney is made from local stone. The building was sold to Thomas Turkston Swolcombe in 1859, and the family owned it until 1970s. Uh, Thomas lived here with his wife and four kids. The family was regularly visited by the Ute tribe, who they were very close with. The structure and the homestead was a little south of the park's boundaries and was donated to Chatfield and moved in 1990. Everything but the doors, floor, windows are original to the building. And it wouldn't be camping unless there was a campfire and some s'mores to go with it. But when you are here, just make sure there is not a fire ban. And if you're not sure, just ask any of the people that are in charge of the property. They drive around all the time. Jack, did you have fun on our first camping trip? We did. We did it. It was good. I'm going to have to do a lot more of them. Till next time, guys. Get out and live a little. See ya.